Okay, my broadcast software is screwing up again. Woohoo! Uh, uh, where's the music? Bloody dark god. No, no, not there. No! Yes, indeed, folks, Cataclysm Q&A time right here for the next 15 minutes before the shout-out to the end of the show and I fall over and die more like I find some food and then get back on the Cataclysm videos because no rest for the wicked and no sleep for the just. Okay, send it in, themurlock at gmail.com. That is the themurlock at gmail.com. That's the place you want to go to send me messages. And money. Actually, not, no. If you want to send me money, it's totalbiscuit at gmail.com. But there you go. All right. Here we go. It's a lot of Q&A questions. Sentiment, I will not take them via chat. I'll take them via IRC. I won't take them via Tiny Chat. Tiny Chat is too spammy. It's impossible. It, you just can't do it. So I, I will happily take them via IRC. I'm on QuakeNet. My name's Total Biscuit. It's not that hard. Right. Dear host of shows, what's your opinion on heal healers doing damage to get mana mechanic? I would think that any healer should be pretty damn happy about that. I press one button. Uh, the, well, there was actually a thread about, like, Ghost Crawler, why are you forcing healers to use more than one heal? Oh, oh please. Uh, if you want a repetitive one button game, I can think of quite a few of them, honestly. Most of them on the iPhone, I might add, but that's bad. Have the new Wargan and Goblin cinematics been added yet? No, they have not. All right, uh, what else? Uh, that's not a Q&A question at all. Are there any changes to Silvermoon? No, except I've heard there might be a model update for the King of Silvermoon, whoever the hell that is. I think he's been updated. I haven't checked. I've barely been in there. It's a no-fly zone right now, so you can't do anything. Uh, the Bulldog starting zone is totally the same thing. Also, shout out to Tresna, who is having a baby soon. Congratulations, Tresna, whoever you are. Okay. Ah, oh, that's too long. I can't read that. I'm too tired. Uh, what else we got? Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. One question about reforging. Is it doable only on high-level gear, or can you reforge low-B items as well? Or heirlooms? I think you can reforge low-B items, but bear in mind you can only do it on secondary stats. A lot of low-B items don't have secondary stats. And we're talking about stuff like hit and crit and haste. You can reforge that. You can't reforge, say, uh, hey, uh, not hit. Now, what the hell am I talking about? Strength. And you can't reforge Int, and you can't reforge Agi and things like that. So, a lot of low-level gear, it's going to be irrelevant, because most low-level gear can't even have that anyway. As far as I'm aware, you can reforge leveling gear. I just, I don't see it being that much of a factor, honestly. It's, it's so little, I mean, you can take 40% of a stat. That's only really going to matter when you actually get very, very much uh, high up in there. That's a shout-out. I'm going to give it anyway, because it's actually to my wife. From, uh, yeah, shout out to Ariana and Hope and Despair, who has finished work for 10 days. P.S. Hope you had a good time. Blood that's from Catherine Notley, who is, I believe, the warden in the chat room. So, yeah, shout out to my wife. And shout out to... Is that Hope and Despair's wife, or is it just girlfriend? I am unaware of your situation, but congratulations on the spawn incoming, incidentally. Okay, what else have we got? Do -do 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 -do. There are things, there are things. Any sign of Hermit Nesting Wary? Not yet. Probably in all... It, it, he's going to be in bloody Oldham, isn't he? I I don't think there's even a question about that. I would think he's going to be in Oldham, but there you go. Okay, what else have we got? More Q&A. Out of a few dungeons you've done, which ones do you like the most and why? Uh, Throne of Tides is the best dungeon out of the ones I've done, which consists of two, I might add. Uh, Stone Court, I'm working on it. Bear in mind, the, people ask me, can you do Stone Core? It's like level, you've got to be 83 to get in there, man. And I'm I'm not going to confirm that I have a secret character that I'm leveling up, but I might have a secret character that I'm leveling up. So, yeah, you'll get to see Deep Palm, and you'll get to see Stone Core sooner than you might think. In terms of scenery, Throne of Tides. Cinematics, Throne of Tides. Bosses, Throne of Tides. Throne of Tides is way better. It's really good. It's awesome. It looks fantastic. They've, they've got a mind control boss again. It's a mind control boss. Do you understand what that means? Like, we don't want random RNG mechanics because it's not in... Ex it makes me... It, uh, man up. 
Mind control boss. It's awesome. It's a brain slug. Why would you not like it? What else have we got? Also, there's Neptulon in there. I've heard that now works, by the way, so I'm going to work on getting you a video of it. Dear host of shows, will there be any new flying mounts? Will there be higher speed percentage mounts? Yes, no. There won't be higher speed percentage mounts. You'll be able to train a 310 skill that will apply to any flying mount you have. So you can use your favorite one. Will there be new flying mounts? Yes. Of course there's going to be new flying mounts. They're on every expansion. Okay, what have we got? <laughs> hey, TV, how are press... Pr Prests? What? <laughs> I think I've got something on the brain. Priests squaring up. Are there any new nice spells for Shadow Priests? Ask my wife. Ask my wife, seriously. Go and PM her, right? She's going to hate me. PM Cynical Brit on the Tiny Chat and ask her about Shadow Priest changes. She'll tell you. She's... Uh, I, I, I'm not going to have spoken to her for a week. All right, what else have we got? Da -da 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 -da. Here's my question. Do you also hate it? Uh, no, that's a stupid question. What else have we got? Do you think there'll be any changes to the old battlegrounds such as Alterac Valley, Warsong Gulch, and Arathi Basin? Uh, I've just closed Tiny Chat. That was really dumb, wasn't it? I'm going to get my cam spot now. Oh, well. I know of no changes to them at present, honestly. I really have had no reason to go in there. Uh, why would I? <laughs> I really, just think about it for a second. Why would I go into those places? They might change AV again because they like to change it like every fucking patch. So there you go. That's probably the best way to do it. Can I get my camp spot back? Great question. Let's try it. No, somebody's stolen my camp spot. Okay, I'm going to have to take it back. I declare war on the person that stole my camp spot. Okay, who are we, who are we getting rid of? Uh, right, first person I see is being got rid of. It is... Waste. Congratulations, you just got picked to be got rid of. My apologies, but that's just the way that it goes. Deal with it. All right. What else do we have? Uh... Dear host of shows, I wonder if they're going to destroy the plywood instance so we can live in peace. No, but you're not going to have to see it again anyway. Frickin' Northrend Col Crusaders Coliseum. I make my dungeons out of plywood and flags. Ugh. Do you think mages should get new interface options like Druids of War? Hell yeah, they should! Everyone should get a new resource or something or some kind of cool gimmick. Candy Bait Test Depot, I'm just said that. Are the new goblin voices permanent? Uh, no. There are different groups of goblins that speak differently. Like the auctioneers in Ogrimmar, they have changed, but the quest givers in Ashara, they haven't. So, I wouldn't get too stressed out about it. Do you think that one of the Cataclysm patches will include the Kulturas? And what is your opinion on the new Warrior Rage mechanics? Kulturas, those are the magic dudes, right? Da -da 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 -da. Hey! I make people rage so much. Pro tip, guys, I do it on purpose. I really do. It's like, okay, let's say your Sarah was Arthur's girlfriend and see how many veins pop in the heads of lore hounds. That's so freaking funny. Hmm. Does Goblin Rocket Jump work in the same way as Mage Blink in terms of breaking fall damage? Yes, but it's no fun that way. What you're supposed to do is get to the highest point you can and press the rocket boots and fall to your death. And if you're not doing that, then you're not a real goblin. But yes, you can do it if you so desire. It resets your height when you press it, so yeah, it's kind of like Mage Blink. Are mages more than two buttons in Cataclysm? Uh, yeah, especially if you're a fire mage. Like, many dots, many dots, explosions. It's pretty crap. Arcane, not so sure about that, honestly. Arcane still seems to be the same, but there is a lot of work still to be done. Beta is beta, nothing is final. Okay, what else we got? Can, we Q &A? Can you get through the upper door to the elevator and undersit in a large mount? No. You can't. I've tried. I, I tried on a freaking Drake. It doesn't fit. It's too fat. It needs the Atkins diet. Okay, what else we got? Da -da -da -da. Will go no, no, no. We've already had that question. We're not doing that. Dear TV, what locations do you think will be world PvP zones? Uh, Southern Barons. <laughs> Come on, the two questing hubs face each other. Stone Talon as well, that's got a lot of stuff in there. So those two areas definitely are going to get quite a bit of fighting. Okay. I heard the water zone is massive. Have you explored it yet? A bit of it, yeah. It's freaking huge. That she is like the biggest zone they've got. It's massive. And there's tons of cool stuff in there. Are Hunters still broken in the beta? I don't know. I haven't tried with fire for ages. Okay, what else have we got? I'm hoping it's fixed. Hey, TB, what do you think of the fact that the guild needs six legendaries to unlock guild rewards? Uh, they... Um... Cool. Really, actually, cool. According to this, guild rewards have three requirements that must be met before you can use them. First and foremost, there must be a locked fire guild achievement. Let's just say that, for example, this is an example, man. It's not... That's... This isn't real. 
It's like, you need the new guild achievement, we are legendary in order to unlock the Dark Phoenix. The achievement requires the guilds gain access to all six legendary weapons currently available in the game. That's not how it's going to be. It's an example. They said, for example, it's not really going to be that way. But I'm cool with that. If you unlock something for getting those, hell yeah, why not? I thought that was the point of achievements originally. You were supposed to unlock cosmetic rewards. Finally, like, however many years after they put it in, they're actually enabling it the way it was supposed to be. Good God. What do you think the pre-Cataclysm events will occur and what will they include? Twilight, Elementals, Elementals, Twilight, Big Dragon. Easy. I know it's only a minor change, but are you liking the look of the new Mage interface for portals? It's pretty sweet. It, it, have you seen it? It's barely changed. It's the same as I get. I've had this interface for ages because they took it from uh, Arcanum. Yeah? And Cryo... Cryo... Stays, whatever the hell the other one was. Cryolysis. I, I don't know what it was. But whatever the case, uh, Arcanum had that anyway. So I've been using an interface like that for ages, which is better. So I'm not going to use it. I've got better mods. Okay, what else have we got? We've got questions coming in via IRC, so I better address... Oh, crap, that's a lot. Uh, have you tried whether Blazing Speed needs the other proc? I think it does, but I haven't tried it now because that would involve a respec. What's your opinion on the Worgen District in Darnassus? It's a freaking tree. It's not much of a district, is it? I think it's unfinished. They'll probably have some more. Have there been any changes to the Blood Cell Buccaneers? Uh, all I know is I've seen a lot of them around, but they might not. Be. They might be the Saltwater Sea Dogs or some crap. I don't know if they're going to be using the old factions again. What's your opinion on the random dungeon tool? Uh, I could go for ages there. Oh, but I'll tell you this. How critical is it going to be for most people's gaming experience when you totally skip certain areas? You don't. You have to go to each dungeon. Right now, I can't get into any dungeons as my pre-made because I haven't visited the entrances. You have to go there. It's just a fact. You actually have to do that. Right, we do have uh, someone in the channel who is repeating what I'm saying. There we go. It's been dealt with. No problem. I shall ban Revolver. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. There we go. Problem solved. More ones. What else have we got? I'll do a couple more, then I'll do shout-outs, because I'm getting freaking exhausted. I need something to eat. Last question before I go on a shout-out, folks. That's what I can find. I'll pick one more. Do you think fire can become a viable raid spec in Cataclysm? Yeah. It, the thing is, it's going to be kind of dependent on how many dots you can apply. A lot of the stuff's going to be more effective when you're applying multiple dots to targets. So I think in any raid encounter where you've got a lot of ads... Should be good. In any red encounter where it's just a single target, I think Arcane's still going to be more effective. But you never know. I say the dot mechanic seems pretty neat. And I like setting people on fire, so I really couldn't care less. Shout out time, folks. I'm so freaking tired. I don't care. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Shout outs to me, the at gmail.com. Send them in via IRC. You can try chat, but I can't guarantee. So there's going to be so much spam. Seriously. There's always so much spam. Oh. Oh. Shout out from Akariba to Burning Winds on Daggerspine EU. Is that some kind of curry guild? A shout out to my husband Bracca for getting me to heal ICC for the first time. That's from Carowin, the Holy Paladin of Fenris US. We just admitted to one and a half thousand creepy people and then seven and a half thousand, oh, sorry, 75,000 creepy podcast listeners that you're a female. Bad idea. A shout out to North Fen Travel Agency on Doomhammer US. Awesome. You could uh, ally with Tesco car insurance that we've got. For getting into the beta and Hogger for becoming a dungeon boss in Cataclysm about freaking time. That's from Taratus. There you go. What else have we got? Mm. Josh Cuthbert says, can I have a shout out this time? Yeah, I guess so. He just dinged 80. Congratulations. Now you get to do boring raid content. That's from Josh on Laughing Skull. Who else? Love the show, Mr. Biscuit. Listen to most of the archives. My only question is, where can I get an angry badger? Well, you get a normal badger. You hit it with a stick a few times, and then you get your legs bitten off. It's pretty pro. So, yeah, whoever you were, there's a shout out for you. Okay. IRC is erupting in spam. Oh, God. Shout out to Corey. Now stop spamming, you noob. Shout out to the New Order server. Proud more EU. That's from Jin. Okay, shout out to Dark Servant on Bronze Beard. That's to himself. Well, la di da. A shout out to Deathwing for ending wrath. Yes, indeed. We should all like Deathwing for that, I might add. A shout out to Legrand for the sake of having a shout out for Legrand. And a shout out to Grimjaw and Volmar for being a non scrub DK. A shout out to Kingslayers on Arthas US. And. A shout out to Divine Fury for being epic. Please use the intro epic voice. <laughs> One last shout out, folks. I'd like to give a shout out to the channel youtube.com slash blue zephos. That's blue as in the color zephos. 
X E P H O S. Those are the guys from the Yogs cast. They do some really irreverent and funny Cataclysm videos. I think you should go all, all go subscribe to them. Seriously, go do it. Go subscribe to Blue Zephos. Like I say, they're good friends of mine. They're really awesome. They do different stuff to me. You might find them funny. I certainly do. They're bloody hilarious. My name is Bean Total Biscuit. You'll be listening to Blue, please, on Cynical Brit.com with Brian Blessed. Would you like to hear some new Cataclysm music? This is called Welcome to Ogremar, and I'm going to follow it up with the shattering. My name's been Total Biscuit. Thank you ever so much for listening to the show. I'm going to go fall over. Good night. (laughs) 